it's time to do an unboxing and to bring some really fun pairs of Nikes to life. But before we do that, check out this box. I bought this item on eBay and it showed up at my doorstep looking just like this. Now, I'm not really that concerned. This is actually a prop that I bought for $5 to bring some shoes to life. But honestly, lately when I've been buying shoes from the major brands and from other eBay sellers, it's not uncommon for the shoes to show up at the door looking something like this. And I really wish that these companies would get it together. A lot of us are buying shoes to collect and the condition of the boxes matter too. And really, this is just completely unacceptable. But that being said, I bought this item for five bucks. It's just a prop, so it's no big deal. While I open it, I wanna talk a little bit about my dream job. I love Nikes, and I love bringing Nikes to life with toys and props. And that's really what the shoeseum was all about. At first, when I opened it up, it was 2,000 pairs of shoes, and I was dead set on not spending more than $2,000 to bring the shoes to life. So pretty much an average of $1 per pair on props. When I moved the shoeseum from San Diego to Las Vegas, I knew I had to step my game up and invest some money in props, so I actually spent an additional somewhere between five and $10,000 on toys and props. Most of the toys and props came from swap meets, flea markets, Walmart, but when I couldn't find props there, I turned to eBay, because really you can find anything on eBay. Check this out, five bucks. Dude sent it media mail, pretty smart, saved some money, but it's not media at all. He actually wrapped it pretty well, considering the box. Look at that, a Bazooka Joe bucket. Old school, baby. Remember when bubble gum used to come like this in individual little pieces with wrappers and the wrappers had comics in there for Bazooka Joe? They don't do that anymore. Actually, Topps, the baseball card company, bought out Bazooka Joe in 2012 and they discontinued the comics because the company was not doing well and they wanted to save some money. So this was really tough to find and I didn't know that when I sought out to find this bucket to bring a couple pairs of Dunk SBs to life. I actually went to Smart and Final and Costco and even a couple candy stores before I found out that they don't make that gum anymore in the buckets. But check these shoes out. I picked them up at a Nike clearance store. They were marked $39.99 and they were 30% off because it was one of those weekend hash sales. You know, hash is all of the shoes on the back wall, but at a clearance store, a lot of times all the shoes are considered hash. And on certain weekends and holidays, sometimes they'll mark all the hash products down by as much as 30%. So these shoes that were 40 bucks with 30% off were $28 each. And I'm gonna sell these shoes for $100 each. And this is my dream job. My dream job is shopping for these shoes, buying toys and props, bringing them to life, and then profiting off of the whole experience. I mean, really, truly, wrap your mind around that. I'm making money doing what I love, which is collecting sneakers. I don't need to covet and hoard them for the rest of my life. It's enough for me to buy a couple pairs of these for 28 bucks each, go out there, find this really cool bucket, bring them to life, make a video, and then flip the shoes. And I sort of want you to think about what you love doing and if there's a way that you can make money off of it. Because I swear, if I can manage to make money collecting shoes, imagine how many opportunities there are out there for you to do what you love. Let's put these on display. I don't want to mix up those extra laces. Let me move this over here. Of course, you can see that the pink and the blue on the bucket is mirrored by the upper of the shoes. And then the yellow lining is what's on all of those comics, but you can see it assorted right here. Ever since Bazooka Joe stopped with the comics, Double Bubble has stepped their game up, so we'll put the competitor in there. You know, when they stopped with the Bazooka Joe, it opened up an opportunity for this little dude, Pud, to have comics in the Double Bubble Gum. Pretty funny. You know, of course, when one leaves, another one's gonna come into its space, but we gotta get these out of here so we can see the bucket. I had an exhibit in the Shoeseum featuring gum-inspired shoes, but this is totally different. What I was talking about were shoes with gum soles, like this pair right here. But Nike really took the gum inspiration to the next level on these Bazooka Joes, and it really was fun for me to go out, pick up these two pairs of shoes for 28 bucks each, spend five bucks on the bucket, spend another four bucks on the double bubble, 
But in the end, I'm gonna make over a hundred bucks on this and I got to share the shoes with you on YouTube. This is my dream job, what's yours?